Hello, Francesca here, coming to talk to you about the Colour Potential cards again. And today we're going to talk about light pink. It took uh, quite a few years for me to work out the colours I wanted in this deck. There are 17 colours. And then what qualities would I uh, associate with those uh, colours? Three qualities per colour. Um, and light pink was a bit sort of on the fringes to begin with. Uh, I definitely had dark pink, I had magenta, you know where you are with magenta, and light pink. And then I thought, but in this country, whenever a child is born, we immediately know what gender it is, depending on the light pink or the light blue. So I thought, well, we've got to have that in there. And the more I researched it, the more uh, of an interesting colour it becomes. Now, this is going to follow on from the masculine and the feminine and the red. Um, and uh, when I'm talking about the masculine, I'm talking about the masculine sides of ourselves, uh, not necessarily uh, just about men. And um, people with very strong masculine sides to their characters can sometimes find light pink a bit much, a bit babying, a bit sort of cloying, um, you know, give give us the red anytime not this sort of wishy-washy light pink and this is something that played out throughout the whole of the 20th century i mean we didn't even have a word uh for pink in the english language till the 17th century and in the 20th century um light pink starts to really really be an attack uh on the 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 very masculine masculine um, and it starts, you know, with politics in, a, in America. Do you remember when, if you were a red and you were a communist, reds under the bed? Well, also at that time, they start developing the term pinko. You're a pinko. So uh, a red, you know, you, you're this sort of fire-breathing communist. If you're a pinko, you're a bit sort of eh, wifty-wafty, vaguely left, nothing really certain. Um, and then when, uh, if you remember, we, we looked at, at Jews wearing yellow stars and the reason for that with the Nazis, uh, then the Nazis also required uh, homosexuals or people com convicted of homosexual acts to wear pink triangles, like pink triangles. And again, it's this, uh, it's this sort of attack uh, on people who aren't probably masculine, who aren't probably red. Um, but then as the 20th century developed, uh, the gay community embraced this right, uh, uh, this light pink notion. And uh, you get phrases like the pink pound to uh, describe the power uh, of gay spending uh, power. And uh, so they reclaimed the pink and it became theirs. And if we needed an example of the power of colour this week, Trump, using a Nazi red triangle to attack uh, what he regarded as, as these uh, shady uh, figures, banned by Facebook. But look, you see the power of colour, the power of colour. If he put up a, a light pink triangle, it would have been completely different. Anyway, that's a little bit about uh, pink. Uh, in the 20th century and I wanted to just talk about one of the cards that are pink now you'll have to excuse this it's a beautiful light pink card it has a, bl a blue smudge of paint on it but then so does everything in my entire house um, so there we go and it is intimacy now if your masculine side has a problem with light pink it is quite likely that you might have a problem with intimacy. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female. We're talking about masculine and feminine sides. Um, it, it runs along the same side, uh, same lines as, as this sort of, you know, you know where you are with red. Intimacy, it's very soft. It's very vulnerable. I see this pink of intimacy like your soft, soft underbelly. Now in the 80s, when I did quite a few self-growth workshops, um, there was this phrase, I don't know if you've heard it, intimacy means into me you see. So it is about um, opening yourself up. 
and uh, this will mainly be about relationships. We did uh, receiving in the last um, video and that was about opening up to receiving from life. This is about allowing people to see into you. So if this is speaking to you today, it could suggest that maybe you have a relationship and uh, you're not allowing the intimacy and every relationship of any kind needs some kind of intimacy. I'm not just talking about sexual intimacy at all. Of course, some relationships really require that, but just normal friendships um, if, if you don't allow people to see into you a little bit, they're going to get fed up and go away because we're human beings and uh, we need intimacy in order to thrive. So if you are a little bit scared of this light pink um, and you are a little bit scared of intimacy, again, it's just a tiny thing. Just let someone uh, see a little bit more inside you. I mean, I used to be dreadful at this, really, really bad. Receiving intimacy, I, I'm just a joy. <laughs> and it's difficult because we put up walls and we need to put up walls. They're, they're, it's necessary to get through life. It's also necessary to be intimate. So just uh, have, a, have a tiny dash of light pink in your life and um, see if that changes things. So there we go, a little bit of light, about light pink. Thank you for joining me, see you next week. Thank you for joining me in colour.